So guys, uh, we are here. So the Labrador National Police are now trying to make their way in. The Labrador National Police are trying to make their way in. So we are here. Uh, keep following us. The police are still uh, having negotiation as to what to be done next. So keep following us as we bring a life coverage. So currently, they, they are making their way in, uh, trying to have some mitigating talks with the students. Hello. So just to let you know, the newly appointed uh, police officer, Mr. Yensi, is also here on the ground. So this is how the scene definitely looked like. I get very baby family. Yeah, yeah, they are okay. So it's all very talk to So Jeremy, I'm big guy inside. I get I'm big guy. I get big guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So just to let you know, the Ministry of Education have just arrived. So there is a representative from the Ministry of Education, they have just arrived. <laughs> So, guys, uh, if you are following us, one of the ministers from the Ministry of Education has just arrived. Uh, so, if you are following us, this is this is number Amos Foley, Deputy Minister at the Ministry of Education. He has just arrived. Uh, so, just to let you know, for a couple of years, he understands student matters. He said Bombay County from the uh, from district level. Later on, he went to county, and today he is one of the deputy ministers at uh, the Ministry of Education. He is here to actually mitigate the situation between the students and the police. So keep following us. Listen. The deputy minister is here for education to speak to us. So I want you to be silent, listen, so that you can hear. Why he has to say? Please, if what he says anything about like the speech to your ear, give him chance, let him finish, then any person we can ask. Are we there? So, the Lord. Yeah, I'm going to so guys, if you are following us, I uh, honorable Amos Foley, former uh, county educational officer for Bombay County, now he is the deputy minister, have just arrived. Uh, he has been escorted by his interaction, some police officers here. So keep following the Labour TV network. Unfortunately, the administration has given the, the gym to J.D. Rabba students to play basketball. In the process, we are playing basketball, they were also playing loud music. So a few students from the, the William Pierre Cotton has went in the gym to engage them to lower their music. So guys, uh, tension has arrived. There's a huge tension here. They are saying no police, no minister entering in yet. 
they have blocked the place. They said no police, no minister entering here. So the student, the student saying no police entering, no uh, representative of Minister of, uh, Minister of Education will definitely enter in here. So, uh, guys, if you are following us, uh, we are right here. So, the Vice President for International Affairs at the Liberal National Student here, and just to let you know, uh, at any moment from now, he will be contesting as the President for Link Soo. Uh, Mr. Koli Shangawa Mo have just arrived on the protesting. So, welcome to the Liberal TV Network and other media outlets. Uh, so, what's your take with regards to the current uh, protest that is ongoing between the students and the police? Yeah, uh, we were all, we were on a different function. Uh, I and the president, we will see a call that there's a saga going on between the top high students and that of our JJ rival. So we intend to come and see how the process is looking at and to get to make inquiry as to how what actually transpired. It's just that we came a little bit late and we seen that the era of the kids trying to survive now, but we don't know as to how what actually transpired. So it's still, it's still at the pit uh, where we have students are refusing to have resolution because they are saying if there should be any resolution, it should begin with JJ Rao, but not at uh, William V. S. Tuckman. We wish I call the um, uh, Deputy Minister of Education is here, along with okay. the police officers, but they are saying the police officers should not enter the building. What do you think it is that? Like? Yes, man, the police is there to amicably resolve issues. So the students cannot deny the police for entry. Because whatsoever thing transpires in this country, the police there to put the situation on control. So I think it will be necessary the administration, that of our student leaders of Tottenham Hall, to give the police the permit to see our best again. I'm not going to resolve the matter because if the police don't intervene, it might even escalate than this. And we don't want it to go more than this. At least we see some of the issues, the issue of story story, a little bit so far. So we can see how we can also the police team. Since the Deputy Minister for Education is here, we can see how we can talk to the students. 
If by anything the president of the Labour National Stadium, Stadium Communication was not in the next 30 minutes or a year, they were able to speak to them to see how they can resolve the issues. Thank you. I'm trying to really know what happened or how the issue occurred. So right. I can't tell you the source of the entire matter now. Thank, Thank you so much, sir. So that was the voice of the Vice President for International Affairs, Ling Su. I, the tension, tension, tension is really growing here between the police and the student. The student are saying no police will enter in, uh, in, in the auditorium because the police are uh, brutalized and the police did X, Y, Z to them. So they are stopping the police. And this is how uh, this place definitely looked like. If following Liberal TV Network, as will bring you live coverage. So just to let you know, the Deputy Minister, uh, Mr. Amos Fode is also here, and the police are here in their numbers as well. So guys, uh, the meeting didn't materialize. The student, the him and they refused the police. So the police are leaving. So just to let you know, the 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 police were denied and the minister they were denied from entering the auditorium. So they are not trying to get back, and this is how the scene looks like. So as you can see, the police, the ministers, are, they are trying to get back. They were denied entry. The minister is getting a scout to go back. So the minister is going back because they were denied entry uh, from entering the auditorium. So there's the minister car. <laughs> So guys, keep following us. <laughs> if you are following like that, we are here. It's not easy. Uh, just to let you know, the Labrador National Police uh, was denied for entering the auditorium of Thomas High, and also the police were also denied with. Uh, the, the deputy education minister. So the tension, the, the, there's a huge tension, and the tension is mounting. The students are moving towards the principal streets. The students are moving towards the principal street. So guys, it's not easy yet. It's not really easy, but we are here to bring you all of the happenings. Uh, there's a serious tension here as we speak. So they are uh, they are singing their school old. Come on, right? Come on, high will rise forever. So just to let you know, uh, the police were denied, including the deputy minister, for entering the auditorium. So there was another uh, medium that was used in order to have the conversation with the students. So as we speak, the students are moving with one of the corners.
Majestically moving, and Jason, the police officer, he is the council student president, and he is the one going uh, with this kind of group. And the student said, they can't allow him to move alone, he needs to be protected. So, just to let you know, this is the student meditants that are moving along with him to provide him maximum protection. So, this is the student protest. <laughs> So guys, if you are following, this is how the population is increasing. This is how the population is increasing. Students are coming from all angles, from uh, all aspects of district number 12, uh, to district number 8 and 9, to see how best J.J. Rabat can uh, be represented to wherever they are moving to. So they are embracing the battle cry, they want justice. So guys, if you are following the Labra TV network, I'm Francis K. Dikoba coming to here live. Uh, there's a huge, you know, uh, protest that have been ongoing since Friday and up to date. And the students are here in their number. It's not easy. We are moving. It's not easy. They are arresting about the one justice. So just to let you know, they are trying to take the mystery, the Tama Boulevard. They are taking the mystery, the Tama Boulevard. Well, it's not easy, yeah? It's not easy. We, we are moving. We are moving with the protesters. And this is how the momentum is like. You have to run in order to get your actual scene of 
orang itu berisi ya. So they are saying they are moving to justice ministry. They want justice. They are moving to the justice ministry. Now we are going to justice. I just tell you. 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 I